So I've got my monitor set up, my external monitor. And I was watching a movie on it last night. I didn't really pay any attention to any power consumption. So I thought I'd uh, plug it into the EV3A and see how much the monitor pulls. Uh, let's see. Okay. Need the AC on. Don't need the DC on, so. So it's showing 83% charge. I'll turn on the monitor. I think. There we go. Uh, so it's showing that it's pulling 29 watts. And at that rate, it'll last about six hours. So how I've got it set up is a USB-C to HDMI adapter. Then I've got the monitor or the HDMI cable going into the monitor. I've just got my MacBook Air here and it's running on battery. Uh, I've got it Bluetoothed in to this JBL Charge 3 for better audio. It was just playing through the um, through the computer because the monitor doesn't have any speakers. So that's my little YouTube video I did about setting up this Kingdom 8 here a couple of years ago and I probably should have watched it before I set it up this time because it took me almost an oh forever over an hour to get it set up. So when that's that's settled in at 30 watts six and a half hours um this little computer it really doesn't pull much in the web power it's on probably i just charged it up it was 100 percent um just a bit ago i'm sure it'll run for several hours and if not i can just go with a uh, usb c well these usb c cables plug it in here and plug it into the other one and power it. And that dadgum little uh, Bluetooth speaker will go forever on a charge. So it's pretty cool, it's really efficient. Uh, I stumbled along without much light last night and today I rigged up this LED, just something simple. I just threw it together with pieces I had. It's about a 60 watt equivalent. And I taped the back of it up where the hot posts are and ran just a, an old extension cord that I clipped the end off of. It's going into my EB55. Uh, let me see how much amperage it's pulling. It's not even registering. So it's, it's probably pulling just like three or four, five maybe watts. Uh, turn the AC on and off and it pops off. So I've got a cheater cord running out from the porch that I run the fan on. And I'll just kick that on while I'm messing around here. And we'll hush this thing up. Oh, got it put up already. Okay, we'll pause that. Then this is the fan. I'm gonna go and unplug the monitor so it can give us a pure shot of how much the fan's gonna pull. So, it's showing five watts at, at, at idle on the fan. I guess because the electronics inside it to switch it. This is on high. And it's pulling 96 watts. And on high, this fan with 82%, 82% of its charge on the little EB3 right now is 2.1 hours. Just if I'm running the fan by itself, it'd run at about two hours on high. 
I'm gonna kick it down to uh, okay that's on low one out of four and that's gonna pull 69 uh, watts 69 watts and it would only last 2.9 hours let's kick it up one notch to two that's the next highest speed and that's going to be 78 watts 2.6 hours On the next to the highest, it's 85 watts, 2.4 hours. And back to the high speed, 96 watts, 2 hours roughly. So the fan's kind of a power hog. Um, not something you'd really think about pulling a lot of juice, but it pulls quite a little bit. Now I've got the EB3A. And then I've also got this EB55. The EB55 is what I'm running the light on now. It doesn't have quite as good of a output um, gauge on it, but it's roughly double the watt hours of the EB50 or the EB3A. This is 268 watt hours and this is 500 and just a second it says 700 but that's not right right there. Oh that's the that's the actual the output max. So it's 537 watt hours so it's it's twice as much battery power as the EB3A. So what you can figure on those, if you can figure if this will run that little fan for two hours on high, that will run it for four hours on high because it's got double the capacity. So what that's telling me is if I want if I was looking to get a hold of a get the, the fan running all night on low which is running 2.8 or running 69 watts it would only run it for two and a half hours 2.8 hours so that bigger one at full capacity down to empty would run it about six hours about twice as long so if you want to run a fan all night, you're going to have to get a little better efficiency fan. <laughs> so, anyway, I just like messing around with this stuff and seeing how, what kind of a time I can get out of it on different loads and that sort of thing. If you watch your loads, uh, you can get a lot done with the, with the smaller power banks. Um, I'm pretty much, I'm still a fan of them. They're really light, um, reasonably cheap. That little EB3A, I think I paid 210 bucks for it. There's a, a new one out, an AC180, I think it is, and it's about four times bigger, or four times, yeah, four times bigger than the EB3A. It's just throwing numbers around a little bit. And I think it's like $890, so it's four times the, the capacity, but four times plus the money right now prices are all over the place and they move all the time because of supply and demand shipping raw materials everything like that um, but yeah that's they're neat it adds a whole new dimension to camping and I'm glad they came out with them because it's it's really nice um, so anyway thanks for dropping by and checking that out I've got other stuff on here I'm gonna hack it all together and we'll see what happens video wise Thanks.